Okay, let's see what kind of... Uh, the T3 um, thermistor. It'll say T3 on the plug and it goes in the board here and it says T3 on the board there. T3, T4, T2, T1. Um, that's your board. Uh, it's uh, IYO 604 Indigo Manitowoc. Make sure you turn the power off at the breaker before you do this okay um, so it's fairly simple you just push in this little part and the clip opens up and it just pulls right off the board you just push the push the little clip in just pinch it and pull it off the pins and make sure your new one's good before you go and put it all in and everything. I'm gonna just stick it on the board and make sure it reads uh, room temperature. Just to make sure the mister's good that you're putting in. Looks like it will be, it will be, but always good to double check. Oh. The mister. Part number, Matator, part number 8310. Okay, when you open up the package, this is what's going to come in there. You'll have all your little labels. So you can put your T3 back on it so you know which one's which. Or... Okay, there you go. <coughs> okay, easiest way to feed it in is you take this black end from the new one and you feed it in the hole this way first. So just stick it in there and you can grab it in here and just pull it through, put it on the board. That's the easiest way to do it. Like I said, make sure the power is off at the breaker. Okay, because you're gonna be sticking your fingers in here. Okay, so just stick this. Just like that. That's go on. Make sure the clip, make sure it goes on right. It looks like the other ones. And the clip, kind of slip over it. See how they all look the same. And make sure you're on the pins. Okay. Check out the sensor, make sure that it works. It's okay. Okay, so our thermistor, our new thermistor is just hooked up and we're just testing a new thermistor. Uh, just hanging it in the air. Room temperature in this room is about, let's look at the air conditioning thermostat and see what it says, about 75. An air conditioning thermostat. And let's see how that works. Let's go over here. Got machine info. Let's go to the service and real time data. And let's go to the time and temperature. And we'll go to 73 T3 for 70. It's leaning up against the bottle of CO2. So 
72 degrees, close enough. So, rub it a little bit. Let's see if some team needs. T3 is the one we're working on. So, T3, T4 is 34. It's probably right. Uh, T3 is 79. It's in between my hand. Yep. So, all right. And it's working. So let's, uh, T3 goes right over here onto, oh, right here. There's T3 going right on this line outlet of TXV into the evaporator. So you got to take off this cover, this foam cover. It's clamped right to the piece of pipe here. Change it out, and that's it. Reverse order. Put it all back together. Seal it all up. Make sure no air gets in there. Okay. So we get T3. Mister is right in behind here, and that was just clamped to there. Just has a little clampy, clippy thingy, and you get a new one with the new thermistor. So the new thermistor sits in the clamp part of that, and then the other part just clamps around the pipe. You'll see when I get it on there, and you take that. That off, just falls off. There's your thermistor wire right there. You just get rid of that. And there's a new one. I find just running it over the top and looping it around that line is fine. Just better than running it beside hot pipes and down by the water pump and the water the sense the water level sensor and stuff it's easier to place too since these things only last like five or six years or whatever they last so this one lasted from 2014 this is 2021 seven years so it's been bad for about a year so it's probably six years so five or six years to get out of these thermistors they're just not made to military grade so they're just generic thermistors so anyways water intrusion just gets into the it's getting cold and hot all the time and that's why just I think that's the the guts actually came out of the inside of that look at this one it's all like this and this one's all it's like it's almost exploded the insides coming out of it unless I got some moisture inside when the moisture freezes you know ice expands and boom bada boom she comes out it feels yeah feels like it's almost falling out so very interesting let's see if I can pull it out yeah another day later I want to get this thing done so anyways so there's your on a clippy on the wall I think I yeah I gotta go unclip it from the wall but anyways okay all right actually I think I'll just whatever okay uh, get back to you <coughs> okay so we have our new thermistor we have our new little clamp Clampy do hickey and just put the thermistor in the little clampy do hickey and snap it on. And that's how it goes on. Just like that. 
just make sure you don't have it on the on the rise on the T where the welding is. Just try to push it a little bit forward of that. There you go. So you're on the pipe. Put it on the top of the pipe. Or pretty close. Okay. And uh, make a drip leg. So don't put the wire, don't put it in when you put it in. Don't put it in like this because any moisture is going to automatically run inside it. What you want to do is put the run the wires down. It's called a drip leg for wires. Whenever you put wires in a wet area, like in an evaporator, you can always run your wires. It so it doesn't drip all over the place. You can re insulate it however you wish. Um, I'm just going to put the existing insulation back. It wasn't dripping before, so I hope it won't be dripping again. So I'll just put it back together like that. together with uh, you know I'll try some see if I have any spray glue on the truck that would probably work the best um, put spray glue on it and uh, put it together boom bada boom you're done then put some silicone on the top edges and stuff a little bit and try to seal it seal it, seal it up from air don't go too crazy because you're gonna have to redo it in five years Okay, hopefully this stuff works good. Spray and bond stuff. Um, it says to spray both parts, wait till it tacks up, and then put them together. So spray each area, each one, one side and the other side. Keep them apart until it gets all sticky and tacky, which it's. getting there getting there I had it apart for about a minute or two so let it but leave it apart for about another minute or two and then I'm gonna put it together hopefully it works okay so uh, get your little stickers out of the bag label your uh, thermistor at the source Label it. A uh, little wire tie. I just ran it that way, away from all the hot pipes and stuff on the other side. I don't like that other area with all the hot pipes. And then uh, switch a little sticker on the uh, at the plug here with the T3. Yes, all the thermistors are the same. Uh, that's why they give you a bag full of stickers. So it's one thermistor on your truck stock, and you're covered for all of them. Uh, yeah, T3 is a real common one to replace. Okay, uh, so that's it. Let's uh, start it up. I, the contact cement, the uh, spray bond stuff, I think worked out real good. I think it worked real good. So, that's good to go. Check it in a week and make sure nothing's falling apart. Hopefully it stays together. Any of you guys have any other better ideas that you've learned any tricks or that the spray bond stuff is going to let loose? Or uh, I'm going to put some silicone on the top so it doesn't come apart anyhow. So spray bond was just to get me uh, just together, get me stuck together. I'll put uh, some silicone across the top like I did before to uh, keep it together. And a little bit on the bottom. Put some on my glove and 
just put it all across there. Just to part the part around the area I took it apart. <coughs> okay. So I got her all sealed up. And uh, how I did it, I just use a glove. And you can just get it all under there. And uh, she shouldn't come apart now. Okay. All right, uh, that's it. Let's put it back into service. Okay, let me clear this event log. Freeze, that's your standard. Okay. Uh, all right, so let's start this thing up. Okay. Machine's all up and going again. Good to go. Service. has dropped one or two batches. Uh, let's go. Uh, diagnostics. Uh, temperature sensors. There we go. Okay, T3. 1828. 20 10 degree PD cross uh, three and four. That's nice. Okay. Contactor and I'm gonna shut it down and clean, remove the tray and give it a wash. Okay.